There's a new way in Lifter LMS 5.0 to edit the fields on your forms for your uh, Lifter LMS WordPress website. For example, the billing information is what appears on checkout, your email, password, first name, last name. There's a new interface coming for how to interact with these. Of course, you can change email address to just email. You can change how these are all uh, spelled, the labels that are on the form here. You can even add in other WordPress blocks like headings, paragraphs, just right there in your checkout field. You can even incorporate columns and all sorts of cool layouts within the WordPress editor. So uh, be sure to check out the Lifter LMS 5.0 beta in this video. I'll show you how to uh, spin up a demo site that we host for you where you can check out the 5.0 beta. We'd love it if you could test out the uh, beta and give us your feedback on what you think about the forms and how it works for you. We have a free test site here where we'll host a site for you. You just uh, purchase a free product on our website. That's how our technical team has it set up where we'll have a link in the description below uh, on this YouTube video. Click that link and that'll take you to this page here. Go ahead and click try out the Lifter LMS 5.0 and it's a free product. That's how they have it set up to generate a site automatically. Just fill out the information and then place order and this is going to start that process of creating us a, a demo site that I can do some beta testing with. Cool. So we can see here are the details for my website and we'll just give it a, maybe a minute or two to completely generate my website for me and I'll be back in a second. Cool. So I just waited a minute there. Let me reload the page here. There we go. We can see the status change from pending to active. That's how I know my site is ready to go. So I'm going to click that link and it's automatically going to take me into my, my demo site here. And we can see this is just a blank WordPress install. But under plugins, we have Lifter LMS version 5.0 right here. So let me just go ahead and activate that. And then go through the setup wizard. Nothing new here, just the standard setup wizard. And then install a couple of sample courses just for me to kind of play around with here, and then we'll check out what's new. Cool. So it imported my courses for me, um, and the big thing that's going to be new with Lifter LMS 5.0 here is under Lifter LMS, there's now this new section called Forms. So previously, if you wanted to edit the billing information, maybe on the checkout page, you would head to settings and then the accounts tab, and there would be information here. But now all of that information about the forms has been moved under Lifter LMS forms. And I have three forms, billing information, register and edit account. Let me check these out. So billing information is what's going to be on checkout. So if I edit that, I can see what this looks like. And so we have a form here in the WordPress editor, email address, confirm email address, and password and all this stuff here. And so I can change the word address if I want to, I can change city to province, or all kinds of things like that. So now you can fully customize your checkout form within WordPress. And you can even do some fancy things including columns, uh, you could add new blocks, if you wanted to add a paragraph, you can rearrange put images, and really format this up however you want to. Let me go back out here and open up an access plan on one of my courses so we can see this in action. So I have my start strong access plan here. Let me just open that up. And here's my billing information, first name, last name. Now let me edit this form so we can see the changes in real time. Under Lifter LMS forms, billing information, here we go, we have email, confirm email, and everything else. And I'm actually logged in here, so what I should do is view as somebody who's logged out. There we go. We have the email, confirm email, and password, etc. So maybe I would want to uh, customize this page a little bit by adding like a paragraph. I can do that. I could add separators, spacers, and everything in between. So. All these Gutenberg blocks are now available here. So we'd love it if you could uh, hop in here and check out the new UX available in Lifter LMS uh, 5.0, what kind of settings there are, 
and just play around with this a little bit and give us your feedback in the comments of this video on Facebook, shoot us a message in our chat or our contact form. We'd love to see um, your feedback on this user interface.